first thing we're going to do is remove the tail linkage rod from the tail pitch lever. So we're going to reach under here and just pop that off. Next thing we're going to do is remove the vertical tail fin. And you'll do this using your 1.5 millimeter Allen key. Now that you have removed the vertical tail fin, you will use a small Phillips head screwdriver and you will remove the three Phillips head screws that are located on the tail case. Now that you've removed the screws from the tail case, simply grab both halves of the tail case and pull them apart. They should come off rather easily. So the next thing we're going to do to remove the tail boom after we have removed the tail case is we're going to disconnect the rudder servo from the gyro. To do this, all we're going to do is pull the wire out from inside the helicopter and simply pull apart the connector. Once we have completed that, next thing we're going to do is remove the tail boom support braces. We have one here on this side and we have another on this side. These, to remove this, you just use a basic Phillips head screwdriver. Now that we have disconnected the tail boom supports, all we're going to do now is loosen up the four frame screws that hold the boom into the frame. They are one, two, three, four. You don't need to remove the screws completely. You just need to loosen them so that the tail boom is able to slide out. Once you've loosened the screws, you should be able to simply slide the boom out and simply pull the boom completely away from the frame. Now that you have the boom off, the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the rotor head assembly. To do this, simply pull off all the links from the swash plate. It's actually a good idea to take them off completely so that they don't get in your way later on. And then to remove the assembly, we're going to use a 1.5 millimeter Allen key and we're going to remove the lower main shaft screw. Once you remove the screw, you're going to grab the head and lightly pull up. Now be careful because the anti-rotational pin will get caught in the anti-rotation bracket. And all you have to do is just pull that back a little bit and pull the rest of the head out. So now that we have the main shaft out, we are going to slide out the main gears. Simply push on them and they should slide right out of the frame. Now that we've removed the main gear and the main shaft, we are going to remove the inner pulley that the belt is attached to. To do this, we need to remove four screws. One, two, three, and four. Simply using your Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws completely. Now that we have the four screws removed, we're going to simply push down the lower bearing block located here. Simply use your finger and push it down. And when that happens, you should see the pulley disengage and the belt should slide out. All right, now that we have our new belt, we're going to insert it back into the frame. Make sure that it goes over the pulley. Now that you have the belt inside the frame, simply slide the bearing block back up and re-engage the top bearing. Make sure that the block is aligned with the frames. And once they're aligned with the frames, Use your Phillips head screwdriver and replace the four screws that were holding the block into place.
All right, now that you have the lower bearing block installed for the front drive pulling, what you need to do is grab the belt a little bit and look into the frame and make sure that the pulley engages the belt. Next, take your main gear and slide it back into the frame of the helicopter. Next, we're going to take our main shaft and reinstall it back into the helicopter. And once you have done that, what you need to do is to line up the hole that goes through the main shaft with the hole that's on the main gear. Take the screw and screw it in. So next thing I'm going to do is reinstall the tail boom into the frame of the helicopter. The easiest way to do this is to use a piece of string that is a bit longer than the tail boom and to tie a small weight at one end. Make sure the weight can actually fit inside through the tail boom. Then you're going to take the weight and slide it through. Let it drop through the tail boom. You're going to take the other end of the string and tie it to the belt. Now that we have the string securely tied to the belt, we are going to pull the belt through the tail boom, ensuring that the belt doesn't get twisted and taking note of the orientation of the boom. When, you, when the boom reaches the frame of the helicopter, push the boom into the helicopter, making sure that the slot on the boom slides properly into the frame of the helicopter. Once the boom is in the frame of the helicopter, you can remove the string. Now that we have the tail boom back into the frame of the helicopter, we're going to plug in the tail servo back into the gyro. And we're going to then reattach the tail boom supports using our Phillips head screwdriver. Now that we have the tail boom supports installed, we're going to reinstall the tail case assembly. Make sure that you have the belt oriented the proper way. When looking down the tail boom of the belt, make sure that it's straight with the pulley and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise when viewing the helicopter from the tail. Once you've done that, take the tail case assembly and position the belt over the pulley. Reassemble the other side, squeeze the two halves together, then using your Phillips head screwdriver, reinstall the screws that were used to hold the tail case in place. Now that we have the tail case installed, we're going to reinstall the vertical tail fin. I'm going to reinstall both screws before tightening the first one down to make sure that it is properly aligned. Once you have both screws in, tighten them both down completely. Now that you have the tail assembly reinstalled, you need to set the tail belt tension. As you can see currently right now, the belt tension is too loose and the way we're going to set the tension is by taking a grip of the frame and a grip of the tail and we're actually going to pull the two apart. Now once we've pulled the two assemblies apart, you should see the belt is much tighter and you should be able to push down with moderate pressure and feel the tension of the belt. Now that the tension has been set correctly, we can tighten the tailbone down into the frame. All right, now that we have the belt tension set and the tailbone tightened in the frame, 
we're going to use our Phillips head screwdriver and tighten down the horizontal stabilizer. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to reinstall the tail control linkage push rod. And what we're going to do first is that we're going to put the linkage rod into the guides. And then we are going to snap the linkage back onto the control ball on the servo. And finally, onto the tail pitch lever.